this webcast, we're going to review how to import fixturing and then position it properly relative to the stock. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that I have here some stock already defined. And if I put this in the body bag, we have uh, a part that we've already uh, programmed as well. So this is our, our starting point here. Okay. Let's go ahead and import uh, the fixturing that we want. In this particular case, what we're going to import is a Kurt Vice. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pick one. You notice it's a parasolid uh, in this particular case, but it can be pretty much in any format that you want, any solid format. By the way, uh, this uh, these Kurt Vices I downloaded from uh, their website, uh, Kurt Withholding, I'm sorry, Kurt Workholding.com. K-U-R-T workholding.com. So um, you can go ahead and download as many of these types of ices as you'd like, okay? So there's our, our uh, vice. It's actually composed of a number of different solids. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, stock in the part in the body bag here. And uh, let's just go ahead and I'm going to shift select Shift window, select all this geometry. What I want to do as a first step is pick this and then I'm going to right click and say show properties of selected. What I want to do is turn it, it all, all these components into fixture, fixture. So I do that and say apply to all. If I now unselect, you can see that it's all red. So what this means to Gibbscam is that when you're uh, generating tool pass and or when you check in simulation later, if there are any uh, collisions with the fixturing, uh, it will go ahead and stop and, and give you a warning and tell you what's colliding with what and that sort of thing. Okay, so that's uh, the first step. Let's go and um, I'm going to go ahead and bring the uh, just the stock back, and you can see that what we want is really this this vice is like 90 degrees off, right? We really see how this is going in X. We want this direction to match this direction. Okay, so that's what uh, we're going to accomplish. So let's go ahead and get started on that. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, turn on my edge selection and I'm going to pick this edge and extract the edges. And you can see that I've got a line there, okay? What I want to do is split this in two. So there's a nice plugin available under plugins here called Geo Edit Split. And I'm going to leave it at 0.5, which means split it in half and I pick a point and then control pick the line. And it doesn't matter which point I pick because I'm seeing 50%. And go ahead and hit do it. And you can see now that that line has been split into two. Really, the only reason I did this is because I want this, this midpoint here because I want to create a coordinate system that has the same orientation as this one, but with the origin right there. So let's open up our coordinate system list and our coordinate system palette list. Yeah, you can see that the XY plane is currently the active one because it has a blue uh, band through it. I'm going to make a new coordinate system. And I'm going to go ahead and double click in the name area here and put two. And I'm, I'm giving it that name because ultimately that's where I'm going to want the uh, vice to go to. Okay, so I'm going to create another one called from here in a minute. But the only modification I want to this coordinate system is I'm going to pick this point that I just made and I'm going to select this change origin option and unselect now. And now you can see that my two coordinate system is now, now has its origin at the bottom front of the stock here. Now that I've done this, by the way, I can go ahead and just delete that geometry out because I really don't need it anymore. So now where I'm going to go from is I want the lower middle portion of this plate right here okay that's where we're going with this so let's go ahead and get that geometry uh first so that we can get the the desired point now one thing i want to point out is that there's actually a chamfer on the bottom of this plate um so uh we're going to have to do a little adjustment to compensate for that okay but for right now i'm going to again again turn on age selection pick the very bottom of the chamfer here and again pick extract edges Turn off my edge selection. And then as before, what I'm going to do is use that same plugin, GeoEdit Split. 
pick a point and control pick the line and do it. And again, I did that just to get that point right there, okay? Okay, let's make a, another coordinate system. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click in here and name that from, plus that's the one we'll be going from to this one, okay? So I'll do that, turn on my coordinate system palette. And as before, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this point and change the origin to be there, okay? So if we look at the uh, two coordinate system, you notice our X, our horizontal component of this coordinate system is going like this, okay? If we turn on the from one, we notice that the horizontal component is going this way. We don't want that. We want it 90 degrees running like this, okay? So we have to have, we have to make that modification. So to do that, I'm gonna pick this align H axis and I'm just gonna tell it to rotate 90 degrees in a counterclockwise direction. Okay, and you will notice now that the horizontal component of this is now running along this way, okay? This is H, this is V, this is D, okay? So we've got our coordinate system almost where we want it. Uh, by the way, I can get rid of this geometry now by double clicking and hit, hitting the uh, delete key. Okay. But remember, this has a little chamfer on it, so we want to compensate uh, for that. There's a nice little function under plugins called Show Position. I'm going to activate that now, and I'm going to turn on my face selection. Now I'm going to pick this face. You'll notice the V says that this face is negative 0 0.02 in the V direction. In other words, positive is this direction, so the face is 0 0.02 in, in this direction. We want to compensate um, the coordinate system, the from coordinate system to be right on that face. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and control C that is copy that value. And now we're just gonna go uh, into our coordinate system palette. And I'm not picking anything this time. I'm gonna say change origin. And I'm gonna say relative to the H, V, D. I wanna move the V, see that minus 0 0.02. And so I'm just gonna hit do it. And so now we have gone, and you didn't see much because it's a very small distance, but if I zoom up, you can see that now this has moved down in the negative V. So we're right on the face of that right now, okay? So that's all good. So what I can do now is we're actually all set. We're actually all set now um, in terms of our coordinate system setup. Let me put this uh, away just so I don't uh, select it inadvertently. And the one thing I want to do as a first step is I'm going to window, shift window, select all the fixturing. I'm going to right click on the from coordinate system and say change CS XYZ. What this does is ensure that all the solid geometry belongs to the from coordinate system. Now, CS XYZ will not move it in any way. Okay, it'll simply say I want you, um, I want this to belong to it. Okay, and that'll become important for our next step. Okay, now that I've done that, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna activate the two coordinate system. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is right click on the two coordinate system and say change CS, this time HVD, okay? Now when I pick this, what it's doing is saying whatever um, this geometry that belongs to this coordinate system, um, whatever, I want you to match the origin and orientation from to match the one that you're going to. So it'll kind of move the origin and do a 90 degree rotation to this two coordinate system. So I'm simply going to pick this here at this point. And you will notice, I'll bring the uh, stock back just so you can see that here. You'll notice now that we have it nice and aligned relative to this jaw. Now, you will notice also that there's uh, this jaw, there is some distance here, right? So I want to move uh, these two plates. And you may notice there are a couple of uh, socket head cap screws here as well. We want all that to move in this V uh, direction relative to that, okay? So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and select all that geometry. So I'm gonna pick this both socket head cap screws, the plate, and this plate. That's all that I want to move. 
And now I'm going to go into modify and I'm going to say absolute translate. And what I'm going to do is, let's zero all this out so we can see this, okay? I want to move from, and in this particular case, what I want to say is, um, I want to move in the uh, Y direction, right? From this Y, so I'm going to Alt pick. When you Alt pick, you fill fields. So I'm going to say, whatever the Y is for this one, and I want it to move, now I'm going to highlight this field, <coughs> And holding my Alt key down, so it will fill this field with the Y of this face. Okay, and then go ahead and hit Do It. And you can see that all that geometry moved up against there, right? So now we've got our vise uh, as a fixture positioned. We've clamped down on it. And uh, at this point now, what I can do is... I can go ahead and run my machine simulation on this and we can um, see exactly what this looks like moving relative to the machine itself. All right. And notice I have my collisions on so that if there's any collision between the fixturing and the tool pass, it will stop and show me exactly where that error is. Okay, so this is finishing up, but that's how you can uh, go ahead and add fixturing, uh, import fixturing into a part that you have already programmed. Um, as I mentioned before, in this case, uh, this is for a Kurt Vice, but this same principle applies to any kind of fixturing that you want to add in Gibbs Cam, not just Kurt Vices.